The seventh stage, La Tour de Langkawi, also known as the Queen Stage here, began in Shalan in Selunga and took riders on a 180.8 km track to the peak of Fraser's Hill. A frantic sprint to the finish ensured with 500 metres to go and in the end it was a spectacular effort from the 25-year-old Rigigi to clinch the revered Queen Stage here in La Tour de Langkawi. Team Sky's Hanau took a close second and Astana's Ignali had to settle for third. Amazing for the crowd, for the audience, for the riders, and now I'm joined on day eight in the heart of Kuala Lumpur with ex pro rider Robbie McEwen. Robbie, what do you think of the race so far? Mark, that was actually a fantastic time trial from you. Thank you. Uh, it's not too, you know, I've done well in short, short time trials before. I grew up in, in the UK riding 10 miles, so anything below 16k is usually something I've done since I was like 12 years old. And this year, uh, the tour, different stages, different winners, and the GC changed. Yeah, every day changed something, so, but it makes it also interesting and it, also for the teams, no one knows who will be at the front at the end. Bradley, how did you get on yesterday and how did you feel? Yeah, I was pretty pretty pleased. I think um, sort of first time trial of the year for everyone and you know, I thought I'd probably run second when Fabian came and picked me, but um, then Terpstra just blew everyone away, so um, he's shown he's the man in form at the moment. Congratulations, that's your second win now here in Qatar. How does that feel? Yeah, satisfying, of course. Uh, came here to defend the title. Tom, yesterday went very well for the team. You're still in the points jersey, and Nicky Terpstra did an amazing race. How do you think it all went? Yeah, he did really an amazing race. Uh, in the morning we went for a ride and it was, uh, I think, even more windy than it was at the time trial. And uh, he took the decision to ride with a 55 gear on in the front, so it was pretty, pretty ball. Absolutely amazing. What happened there? I don't even know. I'm not too sure. Um, at the end we were 10 girls and then all of a sudden we were four girls with about 5, 6k to go and then um, no one wanted to work with 3k to go. I try to keep it rolling, but they all were thinking of a sprint. What races are coming up next for you? Yeah, from here I, I go to Oman and uh, then Strade Bianche, Tireno and Sanremo and then Belgium. And what's the big aim for this year? It's Flanders and uh, Roubaix, I think. But on a serious note, how is it, obviously coming from Scotland, is this completely different? Does it make it a lot harder for you or do you relish the thought of riding in the wind? And against the elements. I like riding in the wind. Like I like going to Holland and racing Dutch races. It's, I quite enjoy that. I'm quite suited to it. You're a huge ambassador for women's cycling here in Qatar. What's what's it mean to you seeing these women here racing? Well, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for the women, and uh, I'm very proud that uh, in the Middle East, the uh, state of Qatar organised uh, the first first uh, 2006 ladies tour, and uh, I think it's very important for. Uh, Women cycling. Moreno, it's your first time here in Qatar. Has the racing lived up to its expectations? Yeah, it did. It did. I heard all the stories like crazy winds, uh, crashes, a full cost all day. And yesterday it all came through. 